Hey beauties and welcome back to I Am Beautiful Hustler TV. If you are new to my channel, just go ahead and click that subscribe button now and turn on your bells because you do not want to miss any of my new posts. Now today I will be reviewing um, Alf Sister Wigs Hair Company and I will be doing two videos for you um, with this company. This is the first wig and it is an HD Lace Curly Wig. And because I always do like the normal side part or um, middle part, I wanted to do something big and curly with like the Chinese bang type of look. So as you've seen from the beginning of this video, I will be doing that big curly hair look using this beautiful HD lace wig. Now, many people don't really know the difference between HD lace and regular lace wigs. Um, regular like Swiss lace and everything like that, but HD lace is one of the top quality laces that um, is very very thin and uh, very um, like gives you the best 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 like most realistic hairline results when you install their wigs um, when you install this type of lace. So um, pretty much um, I will be installing this wig on myself and just doing that big curly hair look as I mentioned as you see in the beginning of this video. And this will just be a very quick, simple, easy look. And this is how the wig looks fresh out of the box. I did not do any uh, plucking or bleaching of the knots. It already came um, with the knots, bleaching and everything. And this is how the hairline came. And I could have plucked it a little bit more if I was gonna do like a parting style, but because I'm just doing a full hair all around look park up um excuse me guys plucking this wig more wouldn't even be necessary so this is really like a fresh out the box and install type of look which is very very beginner friendly especially if you do not really know how to bleach knots and you know uh pluck and everything like that so just showing you what the hd looks like up against my skin it is very very like very very thin and really disappears and blends in and with hd lace it blends in with everyone's skin tone so anybody can use hd lace and achieve these flawless results so um because i do install my wigs gluelessly i will be using that bio stick holding spray to just hold my wig down and i would just pretty much cut the lace and tack down my wig on every side uh, from the left side to the middle side to the center side and then I will begin to tease out this curly hair and begin cutting shaping and molding uh, the style that I will you know be doing with this hair today now um, what I love most about this hair is even though it is a short curly wig like the volume that I got from this hair was just like so awesome so this wig is definitely very full as you can see because if it was a thin wig i would have not been able to do the style that i chose so um that's a big plus plus it being hd lace plus it coming with the knots already bleached and everything like that so it was just like like i said easy peasy lemon squeezy now even though this is hd lace i still like to apply my foundation color on top and underneath just to give it you know like that extra extra melt um down effect and as you notice before i actually began to lay my wig down i did hot comb the roots back a little bit just to get the hair like away from the hairline and that i was so that i was able to just lay it down with no problem and even as i'm cutting that lace you can't even see that i'm actually cutting lace because how thin and transparent um this lace is but i'm just going to continue to uh, lay down my wig all around and what I didn't do in this video that I do in most of my videos is like the whole second step melting process with like the mousse or with the holding spray and using a melt belt. And I just felt like it wasn't necessary simply because the style I was doing, like it was really no purpose to really, really melt the hairline in and not even show the hairline. So I didn't even, you know, waste product by doing that um, whole second step melting process this is just like that one round of that bio silk holding spray and 
I just got straight to the styling. So now that I have my wig on, I'm just combing, you know, the hairline back. And I'm going to be, uh, begin by taking some of that Nairobi's mousse and just applying that mousse to the top. But at the same time, I'm using my fingers to comb those curls out as well as a comb. And what I did after recording this video, which would have made way more sense, but at the time I couldn't find my comb, my big wide tooth comb. Um, it would have been much easier to just take the uh, big wide tooth comb and just comb all of the curls out to get that fullness that, um, you know, I was looking for. But I am just going to use my fingers, as I mentioned, and mousse to just like comb through those curls to get me like the basic fluffiness that I need before I begin to use my scissors to chop down the hair. Now, what you want to do to create that like layered um bank look i like to start with doing like shaving the hair in the front first as far as where my bang is going to fall now you do not want to cut it too too short you want to cut it where it's kind of like still long in your face because once you still fluff everything out you can kind of like lift the hair out of your eyes if it's out of your eyes and I um, even parted the wig down the middle just to be able to um, fluff the hair evenly on both sides of the bang area. But what I'm focusing on right now is just using my scissors to um, chop that hair down. And you want to be mindful of how you're cutting this. Don't just grab the hair and cut straight across. If you notice, I'm stretching that hair out and then like cutting it, razoring it down in an angle with the scissors. And this style is a style that you just have to play with until you get like a desired look. So throughout this video, you will see me doing a lot of like teasing and then cutting, teasing and cutting and teasing and cutting, combing, teasing, layering, cutting. Like you just have to continue to do these steps over and over until, like I mentioned, you get the desired look that you were going for. I wanted my bang area to be fuller, so you will see me go in and tease it out some more, tease out more hair. And I did not want it to be like flat at the top. So that's why I'm really going in with those shorter layers towards the top to really give it like that fluffiness up top and not just be like long and flat. And it gives you that volume as well. And as I mentioned, I will go in um, after this video with like a big wide tooth comb and really like comb all of the hair around. And that's how I got like my final, final look, which you will see at the um, end of this video with the video that I dropped um, at the end of this tutorial. But like, as I mentioned, you know, all of this is repetition. Like you just have to continue to, like I said, comb it out, cut, shape, and mold. And what I'm doing at the same time is still going in with that Nairobi's mousse just to get an idea of what it's going to look like once I actually add some water and everything like that to the hair. And you do not want to make this hair soaking wet if you are trying to do the big fluffy look. Like, keep it as dry as possible, but if it does tend to look too 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 frizzy then you can go in with some mousse and you know tighten up those curls but i'm going to be cutting for a little minute like i mentioned so bear with me guys i just really wanted to show you exactly how i got this look because when i posted it on my instagram they went crazy everybody's asking me is it a wig is it a sewing how did i do it so, of course, I have the tutorial for my babies to show you guys exactly what I did. And I'm just using my fingers, most of this style, just teasing it out, um, brushing out curls, cutting what I feel needs to be cut. And as you can see, the more I cut, the more it's getting that uh, fullness and layer type of look. So, I will just continue to do that until, like I said, I love it. But um, after teasing everything out, I did go in with some water and a big, that big wide tooth comb and just, you know, comb it out. But I hope you guys enjoyed this quick, simple, easy tutorial. Let me know what you think about this look. Do you like big curly hair or do you don't? Let me know. But anywho, thank you guys for tuning in to I Am Beautiful Hustler TV. And be sure to use those coupon codes down below.